What's up guys? It is, I don't know what time it is, I'm not really sure. 1.50, March 17th, St. Patty's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day to everyone. Um, yesterday was my birthday. I wasn't gonna film yesterday, but ended up not. Kinda just hung out, didn't really do anything, didn't go to the gym. Um, but now, I'm going to the gym, gonna hit some legs, do some cardio. I bet you're wondering what that sound in the background is. And I bet you're like, oh wow, that must be like a big crazy like motorcycle, like a Harley or something. But you know what, it's not. It's my, nine, it's my 2007 Honda Ruckus. This thing's kind of a badass. So much fun. Got about 100 miles to the gallon. It's about 55 degrees. And I haven't rode it since September or late August. I don't really remember. But I'm going to ride it to the gym and get a workout in. I'm not really sure if I'm going to use this or what I'm going to film, but there will be a video. Let's do it. Back. Next clip. It's 3.40. I'm about to eat some lunch. This is what I got right here. You guys have seen this. Before. Look at this. This was in the clip. Um, six ounces-ish of chicken. A little six and a half on the scale. I just put six because of all the seasonings. Um, some broccoli and uh, some white rice. <clears throat> Hit it with a little bit of honey mustard. That's a little bit. But this time, sriracha. Something like that. Look at that. Looks so good, I'm gonna enjoy it, and I'll see you guys next time. All right, what's up guys? So I'm new to this YouTube thing, and um, sometimes I just go to record, and kind of just, well actually most of the times, I'll just go to record, and it'll be some random stuff, I kind of don't really plan it. There's a few things that I was like, oh I do this, this, that, and the other. But, um, usually I just kind of record on the whim like I did, earlier but you know what I want to get a video up and I figured I did so I recorded my before the gym my post workout meal you guys saw and stuff and I figured I wanted to make it a full video since I didn't record the workout now I am on a walk with a little puppy my sister just got she's at work so she can't watch him so that's on me now um, we're on a walk. This is, this is him right here. He's a little uh, boxer Labrador mix and super cute. Three and a half months old. So I'm just trying to get him out and out walking around and stuff. I'm trying to socialize with other puppies and with other people I see walking along this trail I'm on. Kind of the area I'm in right now. It's a local park. Kind of goes up into the mountains and whatnot. So, uh, I guess the main point of this is um, sometimes you just kind of do things on a whim. Sometimes there's you can't really plan everything, and uh, and even if you do, sometimes things don't always go according to plan. So. Uh, yeah, it's, that's what happens, I guess. I guess that's part of life. You just do things, and now I don't know what I'm talking about. I figured I would kind of let you guys know exactly, like, where I'm at in, in the gym. Like, exactly in terms of diet and goals and whatnot. Um, so, um, like I said, I switched to a different, like, a different routine. Um... And I've been loving that so far. The volume's nice, the frequency's nice. I feel like it has a good balance of the two, which I really like. Um, and my goals, I mentioned in, I don't remember what video it was, but I mentioned in the description, I was like, trying to start a little cut. So, he just decided to sit down, or lay down mid-walk. Um, we'll hang out here for a second. So my goals currently, um, in that video where I talked about my, uh, it, like, getting bored of the routine and whatnot, 
I, I don't know. I kind of get bored with the same goals and I feel like my issue is that I set goals that are so far out and I don't set like those steps along the way to help me get to the goals that I want to get to. So I said I wanted to start a little cut and I've never done it before. Um, I track macros just to make sure I get enough, you know, protein and all that stuff in. Uh, but now being in a, having been in a caloric deficit for a month, maybe, I don't remember exactly how long it was. Um, I don't know exactly if I should stick to it and trust the plan because I haven't seen any results. I don't know if I'm, just, I'm not doing it right and I'm really okay with um, like knowing something, like if something doesn't work and I'm not doing it right, I like having that um, like constructive criticism, I guess, that helps me, helps, help, what? Words. Um, that constructive criticism because it really helps me, um, I guess, keep myself in order and make myself realize that, hey, like, you might think this is the right thing you're doing, but it's not necessarily the right thing because obviously I haven't seen results. Come on. So like I said, I haven't, I haven't really seen any results and I'm really wanting to stick with it for the fact that I wanna, I've got, I've got a little bit of a gut and I think it's just because of the reason that I've never cut before and I've never, um, I don't know what I'm doing, honestly. Like I know I should be in a caloric deficit. Uh, you wrap my, you wrap yourself around me. Should be in a caloric deficit to uh, obviously cut weight and I'm probably just not doing it right and part of me wants to just go back on a bulk because I don't know if I'm necessarily happy with the with the results that I that I that I've built up over the years. I mean I'm happy okay. I'm happy because I started working out at hundred about 120 pounds is I was at 120 pounds when I signed up for my gym membership. And I, the day I decided, well, when I started my cut, I was sitting at about like 170, 170, 172, something like that. And I haven't really weighed myself just for the reason that I wanted to let the mirror, like look in the mirror and be like, okay, I'm seeing results. I don't want it to be necessarily driven by like the scale. Um, so I think I'm going to try to stick to it for a little longer and just find, try to fine tune things. And I feel like that's what I sh a lot of people should be doing. If you are doing something and you're trusting in the program and you're trusting in your diet and whatnot and you're not seeing results, it does not hurt to change it up. It doesn't hurt to um, be like, hey, just to yourself, like, I'm doing this, I'm working hard, I'm like sticking to my diet, I'm hitting my macros, but I'm not, I'm not seeing a result or like, or even if you're not happy with it, um, it doesn't hurt to fine tune things. You really want to try to keep yourself happy with what you're doing. Because if you're not happy uh, in the gym and you're not happy, you know, like with everything you're doing, it's it, you really ha do have to change it up. And uh, that's what I need to do, I feel like. So I'm going to try to fine tune things over the next few days and stick to it and just keep it interesting so I can make make them changes that I want that I want to make and see um, I guess the changes the progress that I have made because I feel like once I lean out I'll be I'll I'll get to see because I mean underneath all that fat you see all the all the muscles you built and you see vascularity and striations and whatnot and um, I want to do that I want to see that I just need to, I need to not stick to um, one certain thing, well, I need to stick to a certain thing. I need to um, understand that if something's not working, it doesn't hurt to change, it doesn't hurt to switch things up or fine tune things. There's no um, like one program or one certain diet or um, certain macros, whatever it is for a certain person to cut that cut weight or gain weight or whatever it is you have to find what works for you and it's taken me a long time to kind of get an idea of what works for me I've never had a coach or anything like that so um, I'm doing this all on my own I have the internet I follow other people 
on YouTube that, I don't know if this, if this lighting's bad, I'd be so disappointed. That should be better. Um, stick to it. I'm going to stick to it. I'm going to keep doing it. And if it comes to the point down the road that I'm still not happy with it, I'm going to change it up again. So yeah, I guess that's a point. Can I show you guys where I'm at right now? Toby, hey. Right here we got ourselves a tired pup. I'm up on this mountain. You guys ready for this? I don't know if you're ready for this. There's a sun. And look at that lake, guys. Come here. Come on. Look how beautiful that is. So nice. There's a little local business down there. Sell coffee and whatnot. They, there's a marina over there. Call that Buck Island way out in the center there. This is the lake. I live... I'll see if I can do this with the leash. Way... Those big... Oh, you can't tell from the video, but those are some really big, nice houses over there. I live across... There's a hill over the hill there. And, yeah. Once again, guys. This is Southern Oregon. Love it. I love it. Love it.